You're watching Fox News at 9 with Brian Wolf, Ashley Paredes, Chief Meteorologist Alex Garcia, and investigative reporting by Yami Virhen. Fox SA News at 9, Puro San Antonio. Tonight, the medical examiner's office identified the woman shot and killed on the southwest side and the man accused of pulling the trigger. Javel Bolding is accused of killing Tanya Ramirez Bolding, then getting in a shootout with San Antonio police officers. He was shot and killed. Ariami Virhian spoke exclusively to Tanya's sister, who doesn't want her to be remembered by the man who allegedly killed her or his name, but instead as a hardworking, loving person. A beautiful soul whose promise and future were cut short on Tuesday. Tanya Ramirez had learned to bring joy to children through art working with her sister, Samantha Estrada. She's grown over these past two years tremendously. I mean, she picked up this, this art, this talent, and she didn't believe in herself. And, you know, I told her, like, you know, you can do it. And she took off and she's, you know, she got busy with doing gigs and she face paints for me at Morgan's Wonderland for all their events throughout the year. Estrada does not want her sister to be remembered for the shocking act that took her life on Tuesday. Police believe her husband killed her, then was involved in a shootout with SAPD officers on Tuesday night on Vance Jackson near I-10. Estrada wants her to be remembered as a hardworking mother providing for her family. Besides, you know, working full time and face painting uh, every weekend, you know, gigs, she also was my mom and dad's provider full time. So, you know, she hustled. She, she did everything she could, you know, for work and for her, for her son. But the family believes the abuse they say she had endured is what now has left them all with so much grief, trying to figure out how her son will be able to deal with the pain of losing his mother. That's why Estrada now has this message for anyone who's a victim of any type of abuse, whether it's physical or mental. You have to like make that change before it's too late. <laughs> Or it's too late and your family's picking up the pieces trying to bury you. Through the pain, Estrada says she must now focus on her 12-year-old nephew. She is now praying with the help of the community through Eagles Flight Advocacy and Outreach. She will be able to survive that pain that is to come as they figure out how to bury her sister. I work full time. I face pain the weekend, you know, just like my sister, I work multiple incomes to make it for my three kids and my family too. But right now my nephew needs me. He needs me more than ever and I can't leave him alone. Tanya's beautiful life may have been cut short, but her family, including her 12 year old son, will continue suffering the effects of the abuse they say she endured. But her sister says they will find a way to find strength in the memory of a mother who did everything for her son and her loved ones. Jamie Virgen, Fox SA.